The Seattle Police Department this afternoon released video showing what happened during a deadly officer-involved shooting the night of December 31st. That shooting happened during a traffic stop along Aurora in North Seattle. The video released today is from body cameras worn by multiple officers. The video shows police struggling with the suspect before they shoot him. King 5 Ted Land is live in the newsroom tonight with a first look at some of that video and also more about this case. Ted, good evening. Mark and Greg, SPD says it released the dash cam and body cam clips to be transparent with the public. They show what happened in the chaotic seconds after a suspect fled from his vehicle before he was shot and killed. And we want to warn you, some viewers may find these images graphic. The video starts with images from several officers shortly after they pulled over Yosia Falatogo along Aurora Avenue at North 96th Street. While officers are in their vehicles, he suddenly jumps out of his car and runs westbound across 99. Officers run after him, shouting for him to stop. Just around the corner, several officers begin struggling with Falatogo. One yells, he's reaching. Body cam footage at one point shows the man with a gun in his hand, and then he loses it as it skids several feet away. He continues to struggle, appearing to motion for the firearm. There are verbal warnings, and then one shot rings out from an officer's gun on the suspect's left side. Officers radio shots fired and call for medical help. The police department has released two pictures of the suspect's gun collected from the scene. A press release says it was stolen in 2016 in Renton during a car prowl. It contained a fully loaded magazine. Six officers were involved in the altercation. The officer who fired the gun is on paid administrative leave as the investigation continues. Police say they found more than 260 pills in Falatogo's car, and those pills tested positive for fentanyl and acetaminophen. Falatogo's family is planning to participate in a press conference tomorrow morning with the group Not This Time. It's an organization that provides support for people whose family members have been lost to police. Back to you guys.